Welcome, everyone. My name is Sean Jones, and I'm the CEO of the iMetropreneur Network. And today I have with me uh, Dan Q, who is one of our sponsors for the upcoming Entrepreneurs Hashtag Give Community Partnership event. Uh, this event is going to be held on February 24th, 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. in Gilbert at Union Grill and Tap. Uh, it's in partnership to support local business nonprofit Furnishing Dignity. Dan, thank you so much for being here today. Hey, thank you for having me on and giving us this opportunity to really kind of help out a great charity. It, it really is. And, and you talk about giving back, but Pro AZ Safety Specialist, you guys are giving a lot. I, I know you well. I know a lot of our community members know you, but share, uh, share with everyone who you are and what you're doing. Well, to give you the quick overview, we are a COVID-19 disinfecting company. We use professional methods that a lot of the larger companies do, but we make it available to everyone, whether you live in a 500 square foot apartment or a 6,000 square foot office uh, that you're spending most of your time in. We come in and we try to make sure that everybody stays safe and that the germs are pretty much not going to bother you or make any of you or your coworkers, your visitors, or in any of your vendors, people coming in sick uh, because we just honestly believe that it's important to make sure that everybody feels secure in where they are and they can focus on other things and solving other problems. Now, I know this isn't your first uh, event that you sponsored and I know you do a lot of uh, stuff, not just for your business, but in a personal way. Why do you serve your community? What it comes down to for us at Pro AZ Safety is it comes down to just doing the right thing. Uh, a lot of times we're kind of hamstrung with companies that are saying, well, it costs you X number of dollars to do this versus, uh, you know, it's going to cost you a few hundred dollars more to do something else, which could be better, might not be better. And if you look at it from even the perspective of saying buying a uh, a safety feature in a car. We don't think the financial obstacle should be what stands in the way of keeping people safe and keeping people healthy. So we serve the community because it's the right thing to do. When we grow and we live in these communities that we are serving, we make sure that the people that we encounter on a day-to-day -day basis know that we're not just here to, you know, have a business and to run it, but to Make sure that everybody uh, stays, you know, healthy and they're able to come back in and live their lives without fear. Absolutely. When you've learned of the Entrepreneurs Give Community Partnership event with Ferdinand's Gym Dignity, what made you decide to specifically be part of this event as opposed to other ones? This event really kind of uh, hit home with us because there's a lot of people that we grew up around uh, and a lot of people that we know to this day that are transitioning, they're moving from a, a home environment that may not have always been the best. They grew up without a strong, positive influence. And as a result, you're going into a place, you know, now you're having to sustain not just yourself, but now you have to take care of a whole other place that you may not necessarily have the skills for. But we want to make sure that everybody starts on a level playing field. To where if you're worried about dust on your blinds or if you're worried about sweeping out your kitchen to make sure that the the you know those nasty little particulates are gone that the only thing you have to worry about is dirt and dust and you don't have to worry about germs and bacteria and uh, other things that can really really set a family back uh, from maintaining that steady course of improving their life and that is the biggest reason that we wanted to take part in this event because, again, it's not everybody has the, the financial means to professionally disinfect uh, areas that they live, work, or shop in. But at the same time, not every family, uh, even that has the means, has the knowledge. And we want to be, we definitely want to be an educational partner, not just a business. We want to be a point of information that helps people even after we're gone and we haven't you know we've serviced an area 
but we want them to keep staying safe long after we've already left. So it sounds like you really go above and beyond and do the extra mile for your clients because eventually, you know, COVID's going to go away in, in some fashion at some point, you know, however the means are, but you provide that education. It sounds like that's part of your core business is educating people too. Is that correct? It is. We honestly think that there's a lot of misinformation and we don't talk about, uh, you know, what somebody believes in. It, it, honestly, it doesn't really matter to us. We just want to make sure that we provide the best information that we have available and we give it to everyone. And what they do with it is their choice. But to be an educational conduit in, in this age of snap bite, infra, you know, just sound bite information and only hearing 10 or 15 seconds and your average quote on television news doesn't exceed 20 seconds. We have to match that attention span and make it effective and to make it really speak to uh, the family or to the person listening. Because at the end of the day, we can talk as much as we want, but if they've tuned us out after 10 or 15 seconds, they haven't really learned anything. We want to make sure that people learn, not just, you know, live. Absolutely. Now, as an entrepreneur, because we, we do serve, you know, communities, as an entrepreneur, business owner, what is one thing that really keeps you up at night that you that, that you just can't get off your mind? Honestly, I go around to some of my favorite places, just driving from one place to another. If I'm uh, going to the grocery store, if I'm going to the post office for whatever reason, and I will drive by a business where I know the owners and I know that they're good, honest people. They work really hard. And they had this dream to open a restaurant, to open a dry cleaner, to open any kind of shop. And then to kind of, you know, to see it close down, uh, to see the lights uh, off and the building dark, it really, really resonates with me because, you know, I, I came up in a family that owned a small business and there were tough times and we did always struggle. And it was hard enough to get by when the struggles were not uh, were things that were within your control, things that you were ordering, you weren't getting the product in. This is so beyond everybody's control that we want to, uh, what keeps me up at night, honestly, is the fact that um, there are a lot of honest and hardworking people out there that may not pull through uh, in this pandemic. And we want to help businesses as much as possible. We've donated our time and our services to a multitude of schools and daycare centers uh, small family friendly restaurants, as well as uh, uh, snow cone places, just places where the kids can go after school and kind of decompress a little bit before going home and having that opportunity to really um, just be themselves. And mm -hmm. what bothers me is some of these businesses won't survive. And, you know, if we have a chance to help a business make it through, we're going to take that chance. Incredible. Now, there's, there's other companies in your industry. It, what piece of advice can you give potential clients who are calling around looking for companies like yours? What are a couple of key questions they should be asking ahead of time? You know, the biggest question that I always ask people is, uh, that people ask me is, is it safe? Uh, you know, because there are any number of you know, disinfectants and chemicals that you can get people. Some people prefer a more natural solution and there's nothing wrong with choosing a product that you're comfortable with. The number one thing is, is it safe? And the second is, is it effective? Because you can have the best disinfectant in the world, but if you're using it wrong, it's not going to be effective. So you always want to ask people and those companies, is it safe? To be around if i've got pets if i've got children um do we is it effective in terms of how long does the disinfecting layer last and third if they don't know the answers to those questions or they give you anything uh, that isn't substantive find somebody that can answer the questions for you because even if you don't hire us we are definitely not the cheapest solution in the valley. We're not the, you know, most experienced or the one that's been out there the longest. But we do have the most knowledge and we do have quite a bit of practice. So if we don't if you if you're talking to a company, they don't have the answer, 
find somebody that does. And if you don't hire us, hire the company that has the answers you are looking for to make sure mm -hmm. that you have the peace of mind. Okay. And, and so Dan, tell everyone why they need to attend the event on February 24th, Helping Furnishing Dignity. This, uh, this event is not just about entrepreneurs. It's not just about furnishing dignity. This is about how we all coexist and we can help improve our communities as a whole. This isn't just about, well, this, uh, they may have helped almost 800 families and they need more mops, more brooms, gift cards for this. This isn't about that. This is about just common human decency and what we all deserve. When we've all been at a point where things didn't come as easily to us, it may have been something that we took for granted, something as simple as knowing what kind of laundry detergent that you need, or having a basket to carry your dirty clothes in and fold them back. This is about bringing our community together to help others that need the help with the knowledge and with the things that we often take for granted on a daily basis. And I can't stress enough that that is why we wanted to be part of this because we do have a lot to offer. And sometimes it's something that we we don't even think about, but it means the world to someone else. Absolutely. So Dan, I wanna thank you so much for being here today. Uh, Pro-AZ Safety Specialist, making sure that everyone is clean and sanitized, homes, businesses. Do you even do automobiles too? We, we do cars. We do uh, vehicles for Uber Eats people, for Lyft drivers, um, even anybody that has a vehicle and they're concerned because someone else is riding in uh, the car with them and they're not sure of it. We absolutely do. We take care of them uh, and we're always happy to help out wherever we can. Wonderful. Well, Dan, thank you so much for, for being a community sponsor for the event, for being here today and sharing your knowledge with others that are watching this video. Thanks for having me on and we look forward to seeing everybody at the event. For you to attend the event on February 21st, 24th at the Union Grill and Tap uh, in Gilbert, Arizona. You can visit our website at ntevents.net. That's ntevents with an S dot net. Uh, we are accepting donations. Furnishing Dignity will have their box truck. They'll be taking in furniture, appliances, uh, household items. They'll be collecting gift cards for Walmart and Target. Uh, the sponsors and all of us, we're going to be doing a 50-50 cash raffle. We'll be doing prize giveaways. So it's going to be a fun-filled day, and we hope to see you there.